Erica Adam Bramwell was supposed to stay in prison until 2021, but the Illinois Department of Corrections tells me he only served half of his sentence because of good behavior. Now months out of prison, and he may be responsible for two violent attacks against women in Lincoln Park. His prison mugshots posted to the alert sent by police last night for an armed and dangerous suspect named Adam Bramwell. Wanted for carjacking a 56 year old woman in Lincoln Park on July 13th. Friends and neighbors tell me it happened as the victim was pulling into her attached garage. He ordered her out of the car and demanded money. When the woman screamed for her husband, Bramwell allegedly started choking her, pulled her hair, knocked her to the ground and stole her car. He had a knife, just like the suspect in the vicious attack here near DePaul's campus just five days later. Chest of well-being at um, Lincoln and Fullerton says they have a female white covered in blood now on the sidewalk in front of um, the fitness club. Police said the 22-year-old victim had been slashed with a knife, beaten, and her wallet stolen. Police released these surveillance videos of the suspect walking and riding a bike. Now sources tell CBS2 Bramwell is also a person of interest in that case. He's a fugitive of his mandatory supervised release after serving just two years of his four-year sentence for aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. He had a track record of burglary and robbery when he was arrested in March 2017 for violating his parole with an illegal gun after leading police on a foot chase. According to court records, he told police he knew he wouldn't stay in prison for long. He told officers, quote, real talk, I'm just glad I got another day to hopefully be out again. I'll be out in three years anyway. Now, sources tell us the carjacking victim went in yesterday to view a police photo lineup that included photos from the DePaul incident. Right now, Chicago police are not confirming the connection, saying only that this is an open and active investigation. Live in Lincoln Park, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.